Now at five on KMTV clothes, jewelry and purses worth nearly $6,000 total. Tonight, a suspected shoplifting trio busted in Sarpy County. Senior reporter Jake Wasikowski is live with what he uncovered about the crime. Jake. Well, Craig, thousands of shoppers a week head to Nebraska Crossing outlets, but three ladies had thousands of dollars in free stuff on their minds. It's the kind of shopping blitz that the Metro's newest outlet mall doesn't want to see. Sarpy County sheriffs are called to the mall off I-80 for a shoplifting incident at about 8 p.m. Thursday. There, they arrest 24-year-old Brianna Duncan, 54-year-old Elise Smith, and 29-year-old Maisha Oliver for felony shoplifting. The women allegedly have $5,800 in merchandise lifted from five stores, American Eagle, Fossil, Levi's, Nike, and Skechers. It's up there monetarily. Uh, I haven't seen one that high in a while, uh, but there was a lot of purses and, and uh, higher dollar clothing items and shoes involved in this particular case. The women are caught on surveillance, conspicuously stuffing merchandise into large bags they brought themselves. Items include jeans, watches, shoes, purses, and other clothes. It's been great to see um, like a Michael Kors and a Kate Spade and some options that you'd see in larger cities. Jacqueline Lane shops at the outlet malls about twice a month and says incidents like this ruin it for a lot of people. Because this is such a great mall and it has so much to offer, so I hope that it doesn't affect the day-to-day -day business and obviously the retailers as well. Oliver and Smith have been convicted of shoplifting before and Smith has served three prison sentences for theft. You know, nowadays everything's on video and, uh, you know, it's not a good idea. They, they Employees are all trained to spot shoplifters and the security out there is very tight. And, you know, of course, we have uh, cars in the area all the time. So uh, my advice is just pay for your items. Sheriffs are also investigating whether these women have been involved in other shoplifting incidents at other malls. Now, they are still at the Sarpy County Jail. They have not had their bonds set yet. If convicted on this Class 2A felony, they could face 0 to 20 years in prison. Reporting live near Gretna, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. Now.